LaCroix. We had the storm system yesterday and approaching one offshore, which has led to some pretty gnarly surf out toward the Oregon coast. We had wave heights as high as 20 feet. In fact, this was a shot from Karen Guy in Yahats, and this is just the beginning of the story. It has been a very active past couple of days, and we're going to keep this train going. We have a high surf warning in effect all the way through Saturday. We're expecting wave heights as high as 20 feet, and we have saw that today, especially up toward Pacific City. Now, it was a little bit of an improvement compared to what we had yesterday where we were having near 30 foot surf out towards areas like Brookings, but still nevertheless, we have this area of low pressure offshore kind of coupled with the king tides. We have a full moon tonight and that's intensifying the tides out toward the Oregon coast. And we kind of talked about this during the winter weather special. We were expecting this at times whenever these king tides and the storms line up together, they actually lead to higher surf conditions and rougher conditions. But I also want to be mindful of the sneaker waves. That's also going to be the trend all the way through the weekend. And all that is is kind of like rogue waves that extend a little bit further up shore and they tend to affect a lot of uh, people. So please be ca careful, extra cautious out toward the coast over the next couple of days. Remember to never turn your back on the ocean. Here's the storm system that passed yesterday. You can see extending across parts of the Rockies. Here's our next storm. It has reached occlusion, which means peak intensity, but you can see that vast cloud deck right offshore in the warm sector. That's going to be bringing us showers tomorrow and into Saturday. Today, kind of had the warm front pass over the region that brought warmer temperatures, which is certainly not good news for our already minimal snowpack. In fact, today marks it's the worst start to the ski season in nearly 34 years. The average snow level this year has been around 6500 feet, so a lot of passes that typically see snow have saw rain, so rain totals are good, but the snow total is not, and that's kind of what we need for both the snowpack and the rough start to the ski season. In fact, it's reflected on this ski report. We're still closed at both Willamette and Hoodoo Resort. In fact, Hoodoo actually canceled their opening day on New Year's Day because of the lack of snowfall, and even areas like Mount Hood, which normally has around 100 inches of snow by now, only 32 inches. In fact, even Bachelor only has seen about one inch of new snow. So it's been warm. It's been rainy across much of the state, and that has really led to the depleting snowpack. But we have some changes on the way. High pressure has been locked across the desert southwest, and that's kind of pushed a lot of that cold air to the north, acting like a bubble right over the southwest, kind of prevents any of that cold air from intruding across the northwest. We have some changes on the way, though. I was kind of talking about this yesterday, and it looks like we're kind of zoning in on this possibility. The past three model runs suggest that a significant cold air outbreak is expected as we head toward January 6th, 7th, and that coupled with this moisture flow, you can see jet stream oriented right over us. That's moisture and rain, uh, cold air, and that means that we are going to see lower snow levels as we head to that middle part of January. We're obviously going to be watching that closely, and you can see the cooler temperatures even reflected for the Oregon coast, 58 degrees. Friday, clear conditions by New Year's Day sitting at around 54 degrees. Again, watch for those sneaker waves over the weekend. For the Umpqua Basin, 58 degrees Friday afternoon. Mostly cloudy conditions by Sunday, Monday, but importantly dry. If you're going out for New Year's Eve, it's going to be chilly, but also areas of dense fog. So go ahead and plan ahead for New Year's Eve plans. Up across the passes, we are unfortunately talking about rain once again all the way through the start of the weekend. But notice that colder air starting to move in by Tuesday and Wednesday. And that's not the colder air. It looks much better as we head toward that start of January. For areas of Eugene, 50 degrees tomorrow afternoon. Again, Ariel, we had the warm front pass today. Kind of some patchy showers at times, but a lot of the steadier, more widespread precipitation is going to move in on Friday and Saturday. Okay, so kind of a relaxing day. Exactly. Days. Saturday is going to be a movie day. Sunday, you can take the Christmas decorations down. Personally, I'm probably going to keep them up till the following weekend. We're judging you a lot. It's right fine. Now. I don't care. <laughs> right, well, thank you. Well, it's. it's